go. So this is um, the Bugatti we spoke about. This is the, uh, the Sang Noir Spect. If you have a look, this is exposed carbon. Exposed carbon roof and all the back end is. It just looks black on the, um, you know, to the eye, but when you get closer, you see. Mm. That costs 400,000 option. <laughs> yeah. Um, only three of these. This car's done a thousand kilometers and has been sold. 1200 horsepower compared to a thousand horsepower. Wow. And is that, that's how it comes with that exposed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, normally the car at the minute is in race mode. Yeah. Because it just sits better, it looks nicer. But when it's, you know, you wouldn't really drive one in this mode because the, the front of the car sits very, very, very low to the floor. It lowers and it's too low to really drive mm. on a road. Um, but it just looks cool in the garage. Yeah, it does, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a new Ferrari, uh, this is the new model, the 296 GTB. Right. This is a V6. Wow. Um, hybrid. Um, but it produces like 880 brake horsepower. Wow. Like it's, it's, it's an incredible thing to drive. Is it quiet? Um, no, it's not actually. Mm. Um, no, it's not. It's, they've put an exhaust on it. This, this yeah. car has got a sports exhaust as part of the spec, but mm. um, no, it's amazing. So they're a good car. Yeah, good yeah. Car. yeah. Is this the one where you can't drive it on the hybrid? It's just got the hybrid assist. No, you can drive it on the hybrid. Drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have a Mercedes-Benz AMG GT Black Series. Uh, this is sold as well. How much? Uh, 370,000. Right, and the Black Series, they make not many of them, is that? 500? Yeah, and yeah. I guess that's low for Mercedes. Look, for Mercedes, yeah. very low, yeah, yeah. very low. Um, because they're obviously they're a mass-produced company. Um, yeah. But they do make um, these really low-numbered limited editions. Do they? Which are normally Black Series. Yeah. Um, What's this one, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> this is my baby, this one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, look how beautiful that is. Yeah. Also, so I had dinner recently with Horatio Pagani. And Someone told me he doesn't speak English. Was that you? So, obviously he no, does. He, he, he's, he's Argentinian that speaks Italian. And believe me, he speaks English <laughs> if he needs to speak yeah, English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not his first, second or third language, but he can understand and converse back yeah. if there's money involved. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he was kind enough. If you pop your head in there, you'll see he signed, uh, he signed my car. Oh, wow. Do you want to get in there, Harry? Look. Oh, nice. Harry, get all this as well. Look. I mean, that's a spaceship, isn't it? With the gearbox. Yeah. How it's, um, how it's all open worked. Yeah. And this, this, you see this, so obviously the whole car's carbon fibre, but you see the weave on this carbon fibre is very different to the weave on this mm. carbon fibre. Mm. The reason is because this carbon fibre is weaved with titanium. Right. So it's lighter and it's stronger. It's a, it's a, it's a material that um, Pagani actually created called carbtanium. Now, they should have thought of a better name than that, but um, <laughs> it, it says exactly what it is, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so it just makes the, I mean, this car's 1260 kilos in weight. Wow. With 760 horsepower. So mm. um, it's very capable. And that's something that you drive a bit. It's not something that you yeah, just do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many miles yeah. a year? So I've had this car for two years. Bearing in mind, I, I've only had my license back for eight months and I've done 4,000 miles in it. Oh, wow. So you do drive them? Yeah, I do drive them, yeah. Mm. That's what they're there for. Yeah. You know, it's, what, who am I saving it for? Mm. And like we discussed earlier, this is one of 100 ever made. It's one of four UK supplied right-hand drive cars. Mm. So if this is too high mileage for you, you go buy another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely learning some things yeah, here, yeah. yeah. Um, what else uh, have you got? Over here we have a Ferrari uh, F12 TDF. Once again, a limited, a limited numbered car, limited to 779. Yeah. Um, 799, sorry. Right. 799 cars. Um, Rough ma money for that. So this is basically a Speciale, but an F12 right, version. Yeah. So this is 900,000. Yeah, right. And the standard models, how much? Uh, the standard model now is, you know, a very good one's 200,000. Right. So, so you pay a lot more for the... Pay a lot yeah. more. But yeah. it's, a, it's a different, it's a different yeah. car. Mm. Different car. We've got a, uh, a new 812 GTS Ferrari, uh, another SVJ. Two SVJs here, and a new Rolls Royce Cullinan. Right. Uh, the milk truck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and then, oh, come on, I'll take you downstairs. Yeah. Right, what have we got down here then? Uh, so we have uh, 812 Superfast, three GT3 RSs. Three of them. And a uh, GT2 RSs and a, a GT3 at the end. The GT3 sold. How much was that one? The one at the end yeah. sold for 200,000. Right. These are all 350, 350, 350, 350. Yeah. This is a very rare car. This is a, um, an SLS final series, um, 440,000. It's done 400 miles from new. Wow. 2014 with 400 miles. So the person who bought this car bought it solely for an investment. You know, the car would have cost 250,000 new. It's now 440,000. Right, and it's got the gold wing, but has it? It's got the gold wing yeah. doors. It's got a few black series um, options, the carbon bonnet and um, the wing at the back. Yeah. Um, that doesn't quite have the same, the, the same body kit as the black series, isn't quite the same power, but it's the, the last, 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 last edition of an SLS. Yeah. Uh, we've got a couple of McLarens here, um, 720S, really good value for money car these. I'm yeah. a big fan of these cars. Yeah. You don't buy much for... So this car, very much like we said earlier about the Aventador, um, this is £150,000. It would have cost thick end of £300,000. And performance-wise, there's only probably an SVJ or a GT2 RS that can compare to this. Right. So a lot of car for the money. A lot of car for the Did money. Did you say that's a 720S? 720S. Yeah. And that's 150. Wow. A lot of car for 150. When yeah. you think a diesel Range Rover today is 150,000. Wow. And that one is? That's a McLaren 600 LT. Yeah. Bit um, of an, that's an older model, is it? No, it's not. Oh. Um, so the 570, that's based on a 570, yeah. which is the lower end model, but that's... Once again, that's the GT3 RS version of a, of a McLaren 570. The 600 right. LT is the more track-focused. Yeah. Um, car. Really good driving cars. McLaren makes some great cars. How I'm much a big, is that I'm a big one? Fan. That is 140,000. Wow. It's quite cheap. Mm. So they, they've not gone crazy up like other models. They've gone down. Models. Yeah. They've gone down Why do you think they've gone lot. down then? Um, well, new cars tend to. Um, drop initially. Mm. McLaren haven't got the best reputation in the world in the media uh, because you know it seems like it seems like every car that's set on fire is a McLaren. Right. Um, but I can assure you, it's not. Loads of other cars do set on fire. Um, McLaren just they've just got a bad end of the stick. I don't think the companies run great, but they still make great cars. Mm. Well, that, whoever runs a company is not doing a great job. <laughs> that looks like a lot of car for the money. It's a lot. They make, a, they make great value for money cars second hand. Yeah. I mean, that car's a quarter of a million pound now, mm. which it represents that. It doesn't represent any, any more than that, but it represents that. Yeah. But at you know, just mm. over half price, it's good value. Mm. But I take it there's, there's not a low number run of this, or is there of this? Uh, they're not actually numbered, as no. in one of... X amount, but it, it is it is a lot lower number than than mm. your production model uh, McLaren. Yeah, I like that one. Performance wise, which one of those two is best? The seven twenty. Yeah, by a long way. Or depends. You know, if you're on a track, and it depends what track it is, the six hundred would have the advantage. Mm. But um, for me, the seven twenty is just more powerful. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's faster in a straight line. This, these are great round corners, but mm. they're, they're more based for tracks. Right. Looks lovely though, doesn't it? Nice colour. I suppose, well. look. Ferrari lineup. Yeah, I recognise that one. <laughs> yeah, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is an F8 Tributo. Um, all the cars that we've got are not all actually in the showroom. I've got loads that are getting prepared to be put on sale. Mm. Loads that are in another showroom that yeah. won't quite fit in this one and some at service centres and stuff. Mm. But, the majority, I mean, I've pretty much got every model Ferrari. Right, this oh. is what you're here to see. How nice <laughs> is that? that? I need an extra pair of pants on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like... this has got the G50 gearbox, the five-speed G50 gearbox. It's an 80,000 miles. Originally guards red, is guards red. It's had a, you know, a good bit of restoration work over the years, but it's a very good car, long-term ownership. Yeah. So you, you think that would be one to buy and hold and might do all right I think that's time. such a timeless car. Yeah. 
on it. And the kind of car you think, you know what? I want to drive to work today in that car. Yeah. And you can. Yeah. Yeah. And what sort of money is this? 130,000. Right. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, look at that. And if it was your choice, would you get this or a... Um, what was the Ferrari you mentioned earlier? 355? Uh, 355. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm more a fan of these, if I'm honest with you. Yeah. I, think, I think that's a better looking car. Yeah. I think they drive better. Um, yeah, I'd, um, I'd, I'd choose that. Yeah. But that's my personal opinion. Yeah. You won't go, you won't go wrong with a 355. It's a no. Ferrari. It's a good car. The thing with a 355 is you've got to want to be picky. Like what we talked about with the XJSs, you, um, you've got to buy a manual. You have to buy a manual 355 because there's so many F1s. The F1's a bit shit. And if you want something that is a better long-term investment, it's manual. And a yeah. car that drives better is manual. The thing with these, kind of the same thing. They didn't do an auto. They've done a four-speed and a five-speed. But the five-speed is the one to have. Right. Yeah. You could do like 70 mile an hour in first gear in the four-speed. <laughs> <laughs> open it. It should be open. Um, and with, the, with storage, do you need to properly store it? Can you leave it in your own garage? No, yeah, of course. It's a Porsche. It's German. Yeah. Like they, just, they, they just make the best, most resilient cars ever. Yeah. If you want a, you know, a, a country of people to build something for you, it would be the Germans. Yeah. yeah. If you want them to design it, it would be the Italians. <laughs> yeah. But that's why my Pagani is so special. It's Italian design and German engineering. It's got an right. AMG engine. So, ah. no, AMG engine. So that engine is a, um, a V12 six litre twin turbo AMG. Mm. Yeah, it goes. Mm. Yeah. But it's reliable and it looks great. Certainly. That is lovely. I've got long legs, so it'd be difficult to get in it. Do you want me to move the seat back? Oh, if that's all move right, the seat yeah. Back. yeah. What year is this? 1989. Your test 87. Yeah, 87. Right. Don't go back any further than that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lovely. First impressions. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one, isn't it? <laughs> what do you think about the colour? Yeah, I quite like it. It, out of the colours to have, what do you, would you say the colours are? Does it matter? Yeah, yeah, of course. It does. Yeah, of course. I had a really, really good example here recently that was in a colour called Zinc Silver. Um, and it took me ages to sell it. And it, oh. I thought it looked beautiful. But everyone wants red or black. Oh, right. Yeah. Like, that's just because they seen one in red yeah. in a movie that they liked or, and they wanted that car. And if it's yeah. silver, it's not really the same car, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. All right, let's see what else you've got. Yeah, I like this. Even the sound of the doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the way a door should sound. <laughs> oh, what's, there's an, you got another Porsche over there. What's yeah, that? so that's a, um, that's a Ren Sport. Um, so it's a, a, what do they call it? A Resto Mod. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've only so, just learned about these. Yeah, so it's, um, it's basically a 930 turbo that's been sent back for up-to-date running gear and seats and... and right. um, so it's the same model as that? Same model as that. Yeah. And what, what are your thoughts on these Frankensteins? <laughs> yeah, well, that's what they are really, yeah. aren't they? I mean, there is, there is an appeal for them. There's a, there's a following for them. Personally, if I'm going to buy a 930 turbo, I buy that one yeah. instead of this one. Mm. But if I wanted to buy a car and I wanted to use it daily and I wanted a, a modern feeling using car with, with classic looks, mm. then this it doesn't compare. This is by far the better car. Yeah. The problem is, I just like things original. Do you think this is maybe a bit of a phase in time? Well, um, there's been companies like Eagle. You've heard of an Eagle E-Type? Mm. So Eagle um, make incredible cars where they take an E-Type and they... They, uh, they, they put all up-to-date running gear in it and bigger engines and better gearboxes mm. and USB ports and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, they, they, they fetch, God, three quarters of a million pound. Wow. And oh, you and can't get them. And the price of that? That's more expensive. That's 150,000. Yeah. 
Um, but, Does it have yeah. original miles and things? They don't do the engine. They do the lot. Oh, do they? Yeah. So it's an, it's an older looking new car, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but isn't that the sort of wheel yeah, you should the, have on it? They're the Foosh, the Porsche Foosh wheels. Those wheels change the way the world turns. You know, they are just, that's one of the most iconic wheel on a car. Well, I agree with you, but I'm a sucker for a gold wheel. Yeah, right? well, as, as of <laughs> my, obviously. Is that, that's the latest Turbo that's S, That's the latest, is it? but that's a little bit modified. So that is a, um, a Porsche 992 Turbo S, uh, tuned to 800 brake horsepower, <laughs> <laughs> uh, with a Brook Racing exhaust, 22-inch Vossin forged alloys. Right. Um, it's very, very different to your normal yeah. 992, oh, yeah. but God, it looks the part, doesn't it? Yeah. And believe it, I drove it. It doesn't need to be 800 brake horsepower, one of these cars, because no. they're incredibly fast. Yeah. But fuck me, what a car. <laughs> what a car. Yeah. What a car. Yeah, my business partner and I are looking at getting one. And these are good for daily, are they? Yeah, daily. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. I, th I guess these must be going over list now, are they? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, there's two years wait on a turbo. So. Yeah. Mm. And what's the Aston? The Aston um, is, you ever watched a program called The Persuaders? Yes. Um, so there was rumoured to be two UK supplied Astons delivered in that colour. And right. I can see why there was only two, because it's awful, isn't it? <laughs> um, but it's, it's the most famous colour you could have for that model. It's a DBS V8. Right. Yeah. Um, it's the most famous, that's... The Persuaders had one of those in that colour, which was the sister car to that, in the series. It was a famous, famous car. Yeah. And if you're going to have a DBS, everyone aspires to have the one that was in the Persuaders. Yeah. But that one is originally that colour, and it was rumoured to be only two. Right. And this one, the, is that an Okay, the back one is very special. Yeah. That's a Ferrari 250 Pinafrina Spider. Um, it's quite dusty actually as the sun yeah. um, this is a this is a 1960 this is the big brother to the 250 california spider right these should be more money than they are for and, that reason and this is 1.6 million yeah but right. the california spider which is its younger brother um is eight to ten million yeah so there shouldn't be that big of a gap. And they don't really look completely dissimilar. Mm. Well, thanks for showing us around. No pleasure. Um, can you do me a deal to take that today? I can. What, what, what are we going to do on that then? I would do you a deal on that today. Best deal you can do. I'd do it for 120. I'll take it today. There you go. <laughs> Good podcast. What's the po <laughs> <laughs> Is this the most you've been paid for a podcast? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking for ages and I don't really know what I'm looking for. And you guys have been doing this 50 years, so I guess if there's any problems, you'll help me. And if, there's any problems, if I ever want to get rid of know. it, I can give it back to you. That's, that's, what well, we, that's, yeah. that's what we deal on. Yeah. We deal on that in, that, that yeah. in particular. Well, thanks for doing me a good deal. Well, it is. Look, you asked me what the best deal was. Yeah. And I know you're a no-nonsense guy. So rather than beat around the bush, just get to the point. All right, well, I'll give you some money downstairs then. And Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and remember this. If you don't risk anything, you risk everything.